Hello, hello friends, and welcome to another video. You guys probably know from the title of this video, but today I'm going to talk about the expenses of prepping and competing. Um, this has been like a very, very highly requested video, and I know that there are some other videos on YouTube already um, that cover this topic and breakdown expenses. Um, I just kind of thought I would throw my breakdown out there I do hear a lot of people jumping into a prep or um, competing without knowing the expenses that come with it. Um, and it <laughs> can be a little bit of a shocker. So yes, there are places you can cut corners in terms of cost, but you definitely want to make sure that you are in a financially stable position um, when jumping into a show. So hopefully this can kind of give you some sort of idea of a budget that you would need to have or money that you need to have in your bank account or your savings. Um, and there's a variety of reasons why I waited to prep um, until now. You guys know I had a really, really long growing phase and it was just because I needed to grow. But looking back, I'm really happy that I didn't prep a year ago or two years ago when I was in school or I just graduated college because I would be in debt. Like there is no way I would have been able to have afforded it. So anyways, how I'm going to do this video is I broke down um, all these senses that I could think of, there could be more, um, into three categories. So I did basic expenses, um, general competition prep expenses, and then show day expenses. What I want you guys to remember is, yes, there are places you can cut corners in costs. I will note those. Um, there are also ranges with costs. I actually did a lot of research and asked other people. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about kind of what I spent competing. So, um, I'm gonna start off with just basic expenses. To prep, my personal opinion, everyone should have a coach. Um, obviously, a coach costs money, a prep coach, from everything I've heard and everything I know, costs more than a general lifestyle coach or coaching in your off season. There's a very wide range of costs for coaches. Cheaper is not better at all. I mean, you can get a really cheap coach and they're gonna screw up your body for years and years and years to come. So definitely don't go the cheap route when it comes to coaching. Um, I'm not going to share what I paid for coaching. I do pay for my coach. I have gotten asked that. Like, do you pay Nick? Yes, I pay Nick. But I would say that I've heard um, is $1,200 for a 12-week prep. Um, again, my prep was 22 weeks. Um, 400 and up would kind of be the price of a prep coach monthly. And I'm sure that there are cheaper coaches out there, but this is just from the people who I've talked to um, in my personal experience. Opposing coach, especially if you are a first time competitor, you are going to want to either attend posing seminars, um, do individual posing lessons. Um, even if you all have competed multiple times, I know I for sure during my next show will 100% want to touch up my posing. It can make or break ya. Um, I'd say posing seminars are usually 50 to $75. It's like a big group session. Um, posing lessons, again, it depends on the time. I know I paid $30 per 30 minute session. I did about 10 to 15 sessions. There are some that are much more expensive, like $100 for an hour, um, $75 for an hour. And then obviously there is gym membership. Um, I'm assuming that if you compete or want to compete, you probably already have a gym membership. I know I had to make sure I had a 24 hour one just because of like cardio and you need to make sure there's always a gym open when you need to go to the gym. But gym, um, food, I would say 100% my grocery bills went up just because your macros are changing all the time. If you're on a meal plan, you're always gonna need to make sure you have food on your meal plan and just kind of like being like flexible and like making meals out of whatever's in your fridge isn't as much of an option. Supplements, again, super important during prep. You want to make sure that, especially when you are in a deficit, that you are doing everything you can to keep your body healthy, get the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that your body needs, um, and help with recovery. I'm sure most coaches will tell you to take different supplements, whether that is fish oil, glutamine, multivitamin, um, creatine, whatever it might be. 
there's that. Um, supplements, again, something that a lot of people probably take anyways. The other thing that I definitely had an increased expense for was getting adjusted, like massages, chiropractor, things like that. That's something I would highly recommend doing during a prep. Again, an expense you don't have to take on, but it really, really helps just because you are in a deficit, you don't have as much of a recovery capacity. It makes a huge difference in your presentation, in your posing. And so again, like obviously, it's gonna vary depending on who you see, where you go, um, but I would say between 120 and 150 per session. Those are kind of the basic expenses that I came up with. Next category would be general competition expenses or prep expenses that no matter what, um, not including show day, you are going to have to take on if you want to do um, an NPC bikini competition. The first of those would be your NPC card. So to compete, um, you everyone needs to register in the NPC and that is good for one year. So it's good for 2018 or 2019. So I competed in October. I'm gonna have to buy a new NPC card next time I compete even if it is within this, this technically the same year because it's a different calendar year if that makes sense. That is $125. Other things are your suit and those really really range in cost. I think they're a lot more expensive than people realize. I think the cheapest I've seen is like $300 and that's if you wanted to buy the stones and decorate it, bling it out yourself. I know my suit, which you guys have seen, was about $1,000 and I have seen them up to $1,500. Um, you guys know mine was decked out, I had beading on the back, it was fully rhinestoned out, um, so that's kind of what made it so expensive. I am sponsored by Angel Competition Bikini, so I was really lucky that I got to avoid that cost. I would say on average $700-ish for your suit. Shoes are, I'd say on average, about $75 for your competition heels, which <laughs> obviously you need, and then your show day jewelry, uh, which literally it's like plastic, so I do not know why it's so expensive, but it's $75. Um, out. On average, again, you can probably get it for cheaper or more, but between like rings, bracelets, and um, earrings. So those are kind of like the general competition expenses, and obviously you don't have to spend those multiple times, right? Like you can keep the same suit, you can keep the same heels, you can keep the same jewelry, your NPC card is good for the year. The other things that I would include in that that aren't necessarily expenses that are just one-time expenses, but um, they're not necessarily just show day expenses or travel. So um, both of my shows were pretty close to me. I didn't have to fly anywhere, but obviously if you are going somewhere where you have to fly or drive a long time, I guess you're paying for gas. Um, but if you're flying somewhere, those airplane tickets do cost money. That really would just vary depending on where you're traveling to. Hotel expenses, which honestly I could have driven from here to the show venue, it's about 45 minutes. But for me, by the time you've spent that much time and money going into something, you don't want it to be stressful, right? So I would seriously recommend, unless you are like super close to the venue, getting a hotel either at the host hotel of the show or at a hotel close to the venue so you're not like living out of your car all day, so you're not stressed with time, etc. So you kind of have a home base. Like that made a huge difference for me. Um, but obviously hotels cost money. Um, um, I looked at the host hotel that did both of my shows um, and it was about 185 a night. The hotels that I stayed at both nights were about 200 to 225 because I booked a bit late. So again, that's kind of up to you, but it is an expense I think a lot of people don't think about. So, show day expenses, and these are things that come with each show. So they're gonna be recurring if you do more than one show. First things that don't aren't necessarily on show day, um, but getting a manicure and pedicure, they're both like 60, 65 dollars. Wax, yet you, you don't wanna be hairy, you know, like, eh, that would not be a cute look in an itty bitty bikini. For me, that was like $60 a session. Show entry. So you have to pay per class that you enter when it comes to a show. So this varies between shows. I know Muscle Contest, which puts on basically all the shows in especially Southern 
California, um, but for each of my classes, it was $175. Um, so you look at two classes per show for two shows. So that is four times $175 um, just to do the show. I did novice and open. Open, you have to do. That's like the everyone can compete in that novice. Anyone can compete in it, but if you win, you're not necessarily getting nationally qualified or anything like that. Um, but for me, I just really wanted to get stage time. I hadn't done it before. It was my first season. I wanted to make sure I did both. I know some places in like the Midwest at smaller shows, it'll be like $100 a class or something like that. That really does vary per show, but I think it probably is at least like $100 per class that you do. For national shows, um, it's $350 to enter. If you enter after a certain date, it's like $500 and something dollars. Typically they are two days shows so your tan um you have to get tan I, again that's something you can do on your own i would highly advise against it just because the judges do notice your tan you don't want to go up there and be splotchy or be a totally different color than everyone else or be lighter than everyone else so typically the show that you do will have a tan company that is hosting it with them or you can get tanning from outside companies so my first show i got tan by liquid sunrays that wasn't with my show um and my second show i just went with the tanning company that does muscle contest shows um and both of those were 120 dollars per tan but typically it'll cover your tan the night before and your tan the day of show so they'll like do touch-ups um and then if you need touch-ups between pre-judging and finals, most of the time they'll do that as well. Makeup, again, something that you can do on your own. I could never, I am the worst with makeup. I've gotten you guys asking me to do makeup tutorials and I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> um, but it, it's one of those things where for me, one, I would have had to watch a thousand tutorials. It would have stressed me out. And again, when it comes to your show day, you don't want to be stressed out about that stuff. So if I can just sit down, drink my coffee, and have someone do my makeup, and know it's going to turn out good and not a different color, whatever, I'm gonna do that. Both times I got it done, um, one time was through the show, one time was from someone outside. Um, it was $150. I think from everyone who I've talked to, it tends to be around there, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Hair. Again, you can do it on your own. I'd say it's an easier thing to do on your own. But one time I did it on my own, so that was free. Second show, I just got a blowout, so that was like $60. Um, I looked, and if you have like an outside provider do your hair, like someone from the show, um, which I might do next time, it tends to be $100 to $150. It just really depends on your hair and what you want done and how much you trust yourself. For me, I was just doing it straight, so it wasn't a huge deal. The other thing is pictures. So you see people posting their stage shots on Instagram. I personally like really wanted pictures because one, I wanted to see how I looked on stage and I just wanted pictures to have for like my memory so I could look back on old physiques. If you want actual stage photos, a lot of times they will only let a certain photography company take the pictures. So you have to pay to get them. Like they're not gonna let anyone come in with a camera. So it was so hard for me to like vlog and stuff because they won't let you come in with a camera. They only let the sh show people take photos. My stage photos were $80 per time. And I think we got like 70 photos or something like that. So that's something that I would highly recommend just because you want to remember that day. But um, I know that it's not necessary. Some other things that I know a lot of people will pay for are like outside photographers, like take pictures and stuff outside the venue, photo shoots close to show day because you worked really hard to get shredded. So might as well. I know if you do like a natural division, so not the MPC, um, you have to get a polygraph, just like test if you're lying, prove that you're natural. And that is, I think I looked and it's like $75 for the polygraph. So that's show day expenses. Um, that's kind of everything I could think of. When I went through and like tallied up all of my expenses and what I spent, note that this does not include a suit, um, jewelry. I also did not include basic expenses like um, 
supplements or groceries or my gym memberships or anything like that just because they were kind of already occurring and it was hard though that, that would have been a lot of looking back through bank statements and I did not want to do that um basically just a general competition and show day portion of expenses for me when I tallied, tallied it all up um it was a about $3,900. And my guess is if I had included like my suit and groceries, gym memberships, etc., it would have been around $8,000. Um, just knowing what I spend week to week on groceries, what I spend monthly on my gym membership supplements, etc. Um, so, that is kind of that. Again, when people talk about competition expenses, I think everyone includes different things. Um, you can go back and kind of look at what each of those categories of expenses or what each of those individual expenses would be for you. But I basically would just advise that if you are considering doing a bikini competition, make sure you're in a financial spot to do so. Make sure that you're in a financial position where it's not going to put a ton of stress on your life because it is for one day of stepping on stage. That's what you have to remember. Um, and for me, it was 1,000% worth it, and I've said that a million times. Um, but I know a few years ago, it would have been very, very different. So just make sure that if you want to compete, you are budgeting. Um, I kind of wish that I had done so a little bit more before, just so I like had an idea. Um, but this was really, really interesting for me to do. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope it provided some insight. I know you kind of think you're just getting on stage in a bikini and it probably doesn't seem like even when people say it's expensive that it's that expensive but it is an expensive sport um and it's a really freaking fun one so let me know your thoughts um comment share like subscribe all of that fun stuff and i will see you guys in the next one